definitely dealing with that wind I was talking about. It came back. Of course, now it's gone again. It's going to have to wait a minute. So, yeah, I'm going about 72, 73 miles an hour, somewhere in that neighborhood, about 70. So, we're getting some pretty, uh, pretty impressive crosswinds. I'm guessing 15, 20 miles an hour. You can see it kind of pushing the bike around. There's really no reason to panic, not with any kind of normal kind of wind. You, know, you can see it's kind of buffeting me around a bit. So you just kind of lean into it a little bit. You notice the bike's just a little bit off center because I'm kind of doing like that to compensate for the wind trying to push me that way. So the big thing is you just don't panic and don't let the wind push you around. I mean, don't fight it real hard. There's no reason to. Just kind of lean into it a little bit because right now it's hitting me at an angle like this coming toward me from the right. So it's kind of pushing me. I can feel it making the bike work a little bit harder and it's trying to push me to the left. So I just lean in into it a little bit to the left. As far as the, you know, uh, headwind or cross, or not crosswind, but uh, yeah, headwind coming at me. It's just making the motorcycle work a little bit harder. It doesn't care. So all I got to do is adjust my course and just stay on the road and we're good to go. So yeah, that's the thing. When you get out here in the Midwest and you get into these wind, you know, in the windy kind of plains areas and that kind of thing, don't freak out, just keep going. It makes it a little more interesting because mostly it's just straight, flat, hot, and boring. <laughs> Getting to these cool places out here.